Now we're going to be looking at some new features and additional tools that we have added to improve our Design Estimating Pro or DEP program. The first one we're going to look at is right here on the filter. Now we know how great the filter is. It's going to allow us to control the takeoff that we see. It's only a visual control. If we click on and off one of these buttons, we know we're going to see or not see a part of the takeoff that we've done on the drawing behind it. Now the new feature is when something is hidden, the filter icon turns red. When something is not hidden, the filter icon is white with a black outline. So this new feature is going to allow me to look at the screen and immediately tell is something just not done yet or has it been hidden? Quickly and easily I can identify do I need to do additional takeoff or do I just need to click a box to show what is missing? That feature should help you prevent takeoff mistakes and erroneous takeoff. Now, the next new feature here on DEP that we're going to look at is a way to make home runs even easier. Yes, that's possible, even easier. This is a point and click home run tool. Now, we have to have a couple of conditions existing on our drawing before this tool is available. For example, we have right here an, an endpoint, and down here we can see an active linear part. When we have those two things, we're going to see right here, we have this little tool highlighted. I'm just going to click on it. I'm going to decide whether I want direct or orthogonal. I'm going to decide what pathway I want to run, if any. And I'm going to choose which panel I want to go to. Now with those parameters set up, the tool is highlighted. Now I'm simply going to click wherever I want a home run. And it will take them off every time I click based on the parameters that I set up up here in these three drop downs. This point and click home run tool has taken an amazing shortcut to creating home runs and doing massive amounts of takeoff with very few keystrokes. And we've made it even better. The next new feature that we're going to look at here in our DEP program has to do with being able to quickly and easily visually identify which piece of your takeoff is currently selected. Right now, I have three linear runs in front of me. Which one is selected? Well, because of this new tool, I can tell you that none of them are. Because if I select one, it's going to appear with a highlight around it. So now I can clearly see which one is selected and if I select them all I can clearly see that they are all selected. Now I can control this new feature up here in preferences right here under display under takeoff selection I can choose the color and you could see behind me that this is changing live and I could adjust a couple of other parameters for this particular tool but now with this new tool I can quickly and easily identify selected and not selected. This should help speed things up when you need to move things around or change things in select mode here in DEP. The next new tool that we're going to talk about here on our DEP program today has to do again with making our excellent, really robust automatic home run tool a little bit better. and. This feature doesn't apply directly to home runs, but it's very useful for that function. Now, what we have in front of us is an endpoint with a lot of home runs going back to it. Now, the question I have is, how many home runs are going back to that point? Well, that's what this new tool is going to answer for us. All I have to do is go up here to the Tools section on my ribbon, hit Inspect and Itemize, then I'm going to go over to the runs, click. Now after I click, what this gives me is a total for how many pieces of takeoff are running through that point. And in this case, because they're linear, it's going to give me a total linear footage for everything that runs through that point. 
And you can see if I put another one down here, I have two less because these two are included up here, but not down here. And because of the way this is running, I can see that I'm getting less as I go down because I have runs that join along the way. So with this new feature, I can pick a point on my drawing and get an answer for how many pieces of takeoff pass through that point, along with, if it's linear, how many total feet I have taken off. This should make things a lot easier to control visually and keep you organized as you're doing large amounts of takeoff on any particular drawing. The next new feature that we're going to look at here on our DEP system is yet another way that we have improved an already fantastic automated home run tool. Now, what we have here is we have a panel and we have a nice handful of home runs taken off to that panel. But what if we need to move that panel? What if we just came in and realized they told us the panel now is gonna be in the next room? Well, I could just delete the panel, delete all the takeoff and redo it all. Or with this new feature, all I need to do is move the panel. When I move the panel using our new system, I get this menu pop up. It asks me if I want to reroute the takeoff. Yes, I do. Everything is now rerouted. If there's additional linear footage, it has been calculated. If it's less, it has been calculated. This has done a lot of work for you. Now it's going to be easier if your panel moves after your takeoff is complete. The next new feature that we're going to look at here in our DEP program has to do with communicating information when the drawing is loaded. For example, right now we have this drawing in front of us. For our purposes, we're going to say these ceilings are 10 foot high and we need to communicate that. So without using the tool, if I were to go to the next drawing, I'm just going to see the next drawing. But let's back up and take a look at what this new tool is going to do for us. I'm going to go to File, Preferences, General. Now, right down here, I see a new field and a new checkbox. If I say Show Reminder Message on Open, it's going to show whatever I type in here, and I have preset this up for us. Now, when I close this and I go to the next drawing, I not only see the drawing, but I see that reminder message. I'm going to hear a tone. I'm going to see the pop-up. I have to click OK before I can move on and start my takeoff. This is a great tool for communicating important pieces of information that are going to require attention when you're doing your takeoff.